Youths aren't your typical Aussie rock band. They formed in 2012 after band members met through Hillsong Church. And they've gone on to win a swag of awards for songs that soundtrack the highs and lows of life. Please welcome Gang of Youths, everybody. The band's performed on American TV at the NRL Grand Final, and they've just finished a record-breaking Australian tour and will soon headline the Laneway Music Festival. Dave, you're the frontman of Gang of Youths and Chochi, your lead guitarist. How long have you guys known each other? I met Chochi um, when I was, I think, nine or ten years old um, at like a, like a church thing, like a Sunday school thing. And that's kind of the story of the band. We all met through church. What brought you together in that environment? I was a bit of a scumbag and I liked it. <laughs> yeah, I, know, like, <laughs> I think uh, I, I never th really thought like we were like losers or anything, but... Um, I was kind of a loser. Uh, I thought you were really cool, but you know, that's the thing, we just uh, we found different things interesting to most people. If it happened today, then it's probably happened before. I was never really like um, part of the furniture in the place, I always felt a little bit strange and uh, I think there's another part of me that I always felt a little bit separate from my Pacific Islander identity. And so I, I met this like this lanky black kid who's Fijian but isn't isn't obviously Fijian and I was kind of inspired by that, like this person who's so entrenched in like his culture but I didn't. Yeah, it was the same thing. We were yeah, like same like, but different. Yeah, like I'm Samoan but like most of Samoan kids are like, yeah, whatever. I don't know. There's a, there a whole bunch of things that kind of made us um, feel safe with each other and I think I think the religious bonding experience is something that's so in integral to um, whatever we've become. To a feeling of love. I can't ever resent or hate like how we were raised, mm. you know, and some of the most important friendships that I maintain to this day is uh, because of places like it also. You're the band's chief songwriter. Why did you start writing songs? I don't know, really. Um, I used to think it was because I was, I was with a girl who had cancer and I needed to deal with it, but I, I think Maybe that probably wasn't the right reason. Yeah, I used to think it was to cope with this kind of this this weird trauma that um, we were all that you know I was going through. But but I just realised that I, I wanted to put something into the world. You know that we that Chachi and and Jung and Max and Donnie we want to we want to put something in the world. We want to leave something behind. There are a lot of heavy themes on that first record, even one of the songs being Ollie is about your suicide attempt. Yeah. I'm curious as a band how you got through that. Just the desperate loyalty and like the fact that like the friendship and the relationship kind of exists before the um before the music. Mm -hmm. And at the core of who I am, these four other guys kind of exist. Mm -hmm. You know. The greatest thing about all of us being there and um seeing I guess how hard it hit him and how hard he fell is like admiring so much more like how far he's come. A lot of pastors used to tell us when we were kids, um, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. And I took that really seriously. I took yeah. that really seriously. Ironically, <laughs> they would tell us that about each other and they would like try to break me and Dave up. Right? Well, they would never tell me that because yeah. I was the bad friend. I was like the bad influence. <laughs> well, there's a moose head hanging from a wall in a bar at a nondescript part of the street. What do you write about these days? Um, typically tragedy uh, mixed with a little bit of wine. Um, no, um, I'm sober now, so I can't really write about that anymore. But my, I think I'm drinking think, and uh, writing about juice, <laughs> water, and kombucha <laughs> the next album. I was waiting on the future, but the future only came in the form of gray and matter in my only father's brain. I'm not afraid of that quiescence. No, my, my dad just passed away, so I've been thinking about that a lot. And I, I think, I was talking about the full gamut of human experiences about a human life. And every day is filled up with minor joys and minor victories and minor relations and sometimes minor tragedies. In living through that, I know that there's an audience out there who wants Gang of Views to keep giving them moments to cling to and soundtracking the moments of joy and pain and elation. Joy is, um, is a very underrated quality.